Now we can go into Kibana and we can actually import and export the saved objects that we created earlier. Saved objects are going to be things like visualizations, dashboards, tags, save searches, any of those things will fall into the category of being a saved object inside of Kibana. So from Kibana, we can click on the hamburger menu here, go down to stack management, and then underneath Kibana, select saved objects. And these are all the saved objects that are existing inside of Kibana right now. There's 821, you could have more or less based on the version that you're using. We could export all the objects, we could import objects, and we could even search to get narrow down exactly what we're looking for. So we can select type, and we could select just dashboards as an example, and see all the dashboards that are existing inside of Kibana. We can nest some of those searches with tags and say, I only wanna see the ones that are tagged as security, like the ones that we created earlier. You could also look at thread intel ones, which are coming from FileBeat that we um, ingested thread intel data through FileBeat a few versions or a few uh, videos before. So from inside of here, we can export our saved objects and you can import them. And the value here is that you can share these with other people and whether they're inside of your organization or different uh, partners. So if we remove the tags and we only want to, let's go ahead and search for just dashboards and just the ones that we created that we tagged with security. From here, we can select them individually, or we can just click this checkbox here and export. And we want to make sure that we include related objects. And the reason that is, is because if you remember, the dashboards are showing visualizations and the visualizations are using save searches. So we want to include related objects. We'll include all of those things to include the tags. So we can simply export and it will download in the background. It's gonna ask where I want to download it to. And we can just download it to the Packet Pub uh, folder and click save and it will download as an ND JSON file. And if we want to look at this file, We could see that it is in JSON file. However, it is uh, in new lines. Everything is on its own line. This is really hard to kind of uh, look at and read. However, this is what the file looks like. Now from here, if we wanted to import dashboards, so if somebody were to provide them to you, you can simply click on the import button here and it will ask where you want to get it from. So we're going to get it from where we just downloaded it. And then we can check for existing objects and over, over automatically overwrite conflicts. So if it notices that there's an object ID that is the same uh, that it's importing already, it will just overwrite those with the newer version. Or you can create new objects with random IDs, which will duplicate all of the things that you have there. So we're gonna over, automatically overwrite the conflicts and then import. And it just told me that it had 19 objects imported and it overwrote 19 of them. So just to check to make sure that, that all worked like we anticipated it did, we can go back to the dashboards and we can search for um, our tags that we have. And we can see that the dashboards were re-imported properly. And showing all the data that we were expecting to see there before. Next, we're going to import and export detection logic rules from the detection engine. Just like Kibana saved objects, this is extremely helpful if you want to share these across your organization through peers and partners so that more people can use your detection logic to get more eyes on campaigns and threats. So to start with, from inside of Kibana, we can click on the hamburger menu and go down to the detections section of the security app. Click on manage detection rules. And then the rule that we created, the custom rule, uh, the network traffic test, we can first, we'll export that. And you just click on these three little buttons here, three little dots and click export rule. It'll ask where you wanna save it. We'll save it into our, onto our disk rules under bar export. It's an ND JSON file, click save. It will save it. And then we can, if we were going to import a rule that somebody was to provide to us, we can click on the import rule button It'll ask us where the ndjson file is. You can click on it and then hit open. 
and we want to automatically overwrite saved object with the same rule ID. This will be if, for our example here, and that we're going to, we exported it and then we're going to re-import it. In the event that you or somebody was to provide this to you, you probably wouldn't need to do this because you would not have the same rule ID already. But we're going to automatically overwrite, so it will delete the old one and, and add this, this one back in. And successfully imported one rule. And it is already activated. It's version 2. And we can go back to the detections and generate some traffic. And you would see that this rule is, is running again as an imported rule.